found a really good hiding spot. Who's going to be the last to find me? Hang on for the loop. Four, three, two, one. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. I'm Ricky. I'm Jamie. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas to you, Ricky. Merry Christmas to you, Jamie. Are you excited about our Christmas episode this year? I am so excited. I love the game we're playing. Oh, and before we get to that, this mm -hmm. month we have been answering your question, who is God? We've discussed how God is bigger than words and deeper than rejection. And today we are going to get up close and personal. Jesus was born so we can be closer to God than ever. Let's take a closer look. What's up, guys? <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was good. Okay. Loop show reactions to nativity scenes. That's a large baby Jesus. That's a huge baby Jesus. Instead of being like, born in Bethlehem, Jesus mm -hmm. was born in Pixie Hollow. <laughs> this baby so just this has is a like, whole spotlight. Like, it yeah. just looks like, look at me, I'm here. As one does, when is God? You know, the... The Jesus. The savior the, the of one us and all. Only, right? <laughs> you know, like, okay. no big deal. He's just kind of saves us all, you know? Baby Jesus, who looks all happy, has a very, very big... Um, yellow afro. Yes, he is all powerful, but no, he is not that serious. <laughs> but they look very happy. They're just like, hey, Jesus, we get it. You're God, but we're also your parents. So we love you a lot. <laughs> what? <laughs> all right. <gasps> oh, help. oh my gosh. I don't want to look. That's not of Jesus. I don't even think this is a nativity scene. Where is Jesus? I mean, you do what you can with what you have. And now everyone's traumatized. <laughs> it's just so thank you. Oh, wait, where are his parents? <laughs> it's just the animals. This is the the child of God. Yes. And you just leave him <laughs> with all of the animals. She said, he's all powerful. He's good. <laughs> he's got it. He's fine. So. Maybe Mary taking the picture. Maybe she's like. I see lights. It's a little out of focus. Like our life when we don't have Jesus, it's out of Ooh. focus. Oh, that's I did a good something one. there, thanks. That's a really good okay. one. Okay. Okay. Now this one's... I actually kind of yeah. like this one. Yeah. Aww. Oh, this is really nice. That is so cute. It just screams like... Jesus! Holidays. Oh, this is my favorite. This is really cool. <gasps> okay, Ooh. this one's my favorite. Yes. Just like that moment of like peace with just Mary and Joseph and their sweet little baby. Mm -hmm. It's just so beautiful to see people come together and worship and you really see that presented in the Christmas story. It, is that the last one? Welcome to the first annual Loop Show Sardines game! Yay! Yay! Nice, nice, okay. Uh, so you guys know we're gonna be playing the whole bunch of our Loop Show friends. Rick and Jenny, move out of the way. See all these guys? I love these guys. Yeah, Drew and Bob, take it, yeah. Okay, come on in. Okay, let's just get to the rules so we don't waste any time. Sardines is reverse hide and seek. One person has five minutes to hide. After that, everyone else searches for the hidden person. Whenever you find the hidden person, quietly join them in their hiding spot. The last one to find the rest of the group is not the winner. Remember to stay within the boundaries. And everyone who plays gets a special surprise at the end of the game. Who's excited? You're gonna be first. You have five minutes to hide. Are you ready? Ready. All right. On your mark. Get set. Go! Go, Ricky, go! Wait, shoot, I lost them. Where'd he go? He's already gone. Oh, this, he, oh, this he way. Just went that way. Oh. He's so fast. He's really fast. Yeah. <laughs> All right. This is it. This is a winner. This is my hiding place. Goodbye. Okay, are you guys ready? Yeah. yeah. any strategy going into this. All right, we got some lockers. I don't think Ricky could fit in the lockers. What Ricky doesn't know is he doesn't hide. He waits. He waits for Judo Bob to find him. <laughs> Judo Bob's very scary. Look at this guy. You gave him kind of fright. <laughs> no, not under the desk. OK, can you fit under? No. I hear people giggling, so I'm going to follow the giggling. Can I hide? Can I just hide and like? Hey, they said we could go in bathrooms, but oh gosh. Should I be in here? 
Ricky, are you in here? Awesome. Ah! Don't like that. I don't want to Ricky, where are you? Where are you? Okay. Hey, guys. Hey, don't mind me. Yep, not here. Oh, okay. Okay. That was extremely suspicious. What is it? Why are you? Why do you have a box? I might need it. What is happening? Like if I need to hide with Ricky. Okay. In the 1950s, canned sardines were at their peak. I'm gonna find them. <laughs> Someone's coming. I'm gonna scare them. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> you see these cubbies? It's clear he's not there. But could he be on top? Ricky? Are you there? No, he's clearly not on top. Hmm, let's see. Maybe behind this little couch. Oh, we found him. <laughs> Think he's back here? <laughs> nope. Fool me. Trip me. <laughs> Gotta keep trying. <laughs> I can't. I can't give up. There are over 21 types of sardine or pilcher fish. <laughs> are you sure he's not outside? <laughs> I don't want to be the last one. I'm so nervous. Step over. Come on, false. Jamie's in the cabinet. I don't know how long we're going to be back here, guys. But I already ate the only mint that I had. There's so many people over here. There's so back there. Someone in that cabinet. <laughs> no, someone's coming. But I'm not. I'm a rebel, and we're gonna check this out. Clearly, clearly, Ricky's been in here because he left the lights on. Rookie mistake. Ricky. Might call it a Ricky mistake. I don't know what to do. I'm super lost. Okay, we're building a wall. Oh my God. Got him, found him. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Don't scare Jimmy, keep your voice out. Shut up. Oh my gosh. Guys, we're closer than ever. <laughs> Guys. Wait, how many people do we have here somewhere? Did you do a podcast in this place yet? Just use other door. <laughs> Ricky, c come on, dude. <laughs> Found him. Oh, oh Ricky. Oh. And everybody else. Yay. Oh, no. Judo Bob's not impressed. Found him. Oh. Last person here. See, the thing is, biblically, uh, Judo Bob knows the last shall be first. So I actually won in this round. So let's see if Jamie <laughs> can actually trick this guy. Jamie, you're up. And yes. good luck. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> Pop Christmas, Krampus kids. Yeah, yeah, ha, ha. Which one of these all-time classics is the most published Christmas hymn in all of North America? Is it A, Go Tell It on the Mountain, B, O Holy Night, C, Jingle Bells, or D, Joy to the World? You said A, Go Tell Your Mom You Got It Wrong. It's D, Joy to the World, the Lord is Come. Let Earth Receive Her King. This song was first published in 1719. That was a long time ago, and yet we're still singing it strong today. When you think about God, what do you think about? Do you think of a distant God who's up on a cloud sitting on a throne like the king of Cloud City. That's what I used to think of when I was younger, that he was all the way up there. But the Christmas story and the birth of Jesus, they actually tell us something different. It says that God loved us so much that he sent his son to earth, all the way from up there down here. He's closer to us than ever. Mary and Joseph, 
They got to interact with God up close and personal. So did the shepherds and the wise men and the disciples and the Pharisees and the good guys and the bad guys. They all got to interact with God in the flesh when they talked with Jesus. There are so many stories in the Bible of these encounters with Jesus that led to straight up joy. Even when he left the earth, people kept that joy alive by telling everyone that they knew. They spread it all over the world. That's why we're still singing about it today. God is closer than ever. Joy to the world. Let every heart, yours and yours and yours and yours, prepare him room. His God is closer than ever. I gotta get back to it. Okay, guys, so this is the spot that I found when I was trying to find Ricky. I was thinking about hiding back here. Okay, that looks pretty sturdy. Okay. Yes. All right. All right. It is now time for us to find Jamie. She's hidden. She is a single sardine, and we will join her. Ready? <laughs> Closer than ever! Jamie, coming for you, Jamie. We're off to find Jamie. It's been about 30 seconds. Ja Jamie, she she's, a, she's a shorter person, so I figured she would use that to her advantage, like get, get low somewhere. All right, those cabinets are locked and they are entirely too small for a human body. However, I know Jamie can get into small quiz spaces. Man, quiz man, quiz man, judo Bob, out to search for Jamie. Do you have any idea where she could be? I don't know where she might be, but I do know a lot of sardines facts. Did you know that most sardines are hunted at night? <laughs> That's when they come up for plankton. She's not in the trash can. Look in here at the trash can. Nope. <laughs> I'm assuming that your co-hostness mm -hmm. with Jamie is gonna like give you a special radar. No, she she cut off our, our telepathic link. Ah! Hunter is fast. Me and Judah Bob are gonna check out this room. We're checking it out. To show you how quick I'm gonna find her, let me just show you how that fast. Right. See how that, you, you couldn't even see it. Maybe in this room? Is Jamie up here? Jamie? Hmm, people are still looking. Have we started checking the ceiling tiles? No, not yet. Man. Nah. See if she's in any of these cabinets. She's not in this one. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Look at this. I looked there. I swear I looked there. Hey, how about another sardine fact? Did you know that they make sardine oil and that sardine oil can be used in paint? Oh, hey, guys. Still no luck. I think she's even in a better place than Ricky was. See you guys. Oh, she's not in there. Hey, if you're a dude and you're peeing, zip it up. No more playing games. Where is she? I think she's high. Hi. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Catherine, there were like three people that looked where you looked. Yeah. And they didn't find me. Okay. Yes. She's in here, and I don't know where, but I feel she's near. I can't find Jamie anywhere. I looked in the fridge. He wasn't in there, which is good. Oops. How many people are missing? Three. Like three. This is ridiculous. Is anybody looking here? 
I don't even know. I don't think I have. Jason brought a box with him. The amount of respect I have for this man bringing his own hiding <laughs> box is unparalleled to any artist I've ever seen in any form of art I ever. Like... I can't find them and I'm really sweaty. But on the bright side, I've hit 10,000 steps, so that's good. I have not been in here. It's like watching two squirrels in one sock. As you can see, Jamie's been found, and regardless to beliefs, Judo Bob found her first. We're waiting on Andy. I've looked everywhere for that tiny girl. I've been trying to, like, look up high, went floor by floor. I've, <laughs> I've been feeling on couch cushions, because I'm thinking she could totally, like, make herself look like a couch cushion. Okay, okay, I hear too much noise from the bed. can't be quiet. What is Judo Bob even... Slamming and I was like, I'm I'm so who is God? Well, around Christmas time, I like to remember that God really is just closer than ever. We think about this extra big God who created all creation, the God who created the stars in the sky and the birds and the fish, the God who created you and created me, the God who created snakes and dogs and cats. Like that extra big God came to earth as a tiny, tiny baby. He came to earth as a tiny baby to close the gap so that God wasn't just a God who is far away and distant and quote unquote up in the sky, but instead a God that is right here with us. When Jesus came to earth, he came to earth as a baby. And if you haven't thought about that for a second, I just want to take a moment to acknowledge the fact that Jesus was a baby who was born in a manger, but had to get his diaper changed probably for like two or three years and had people coming up to him and pinching his cheeks and probably commenting about how short or long his hair was. Like Jesus was a human, but he was perfect because he was the son of God. And Christmas time is a perfect time to remember that God isn't a distant God. He's not far from us, but that He's close to us. Let's check out our friends at the Bible Project to see what they have to say. So when Mary was really pregnant, she and her fiance, Joseph, had to go down to Bethlehem. Yeah, there was a decree across the Roman Empire about new taxes, and so everybody had to go get registered in the town of their family line. There were so many visitors in Bethlehem, they can't find a guest room. And so the only place they can find is a spot where animals sleep. Now nearby were some shepherds with their flocks, and an angel appears, which of course freaks them out. But they're told to celebrate, because tonight in Bethlehem, a savior has been born. Yeah, they're told to go and find this baby, and they'll know that it's the Messiah because he's going to be wrapped up and laying in a grimy feeding trough. Yeah, which is pretty gross. Totally. And then these shepherds, who aren't very clean themselves, they go and find the newborn Jesus in this really dingy place, and their minds are blown. They go home wondering what on earth is about to happen. And this is all really strange. I mean, if God's really coming to save the world, this isn't how you would expect him to arrive. Born in an animal shelter to a teenage girl, celebrated by no-name shepherds. Exactly. I mean, everything is backwards in Luke's story, and that's the point. He is showing how God's kingdom was first revealed in these dirty places among the poor, because Jesus is here to bring salvation by turning our world order upside down. Dang, that video. All month long, we've been talking about this particular Bible verse from John chapter 3, verse 16. And you may have seen it, but I do want to just read it real quick for us. It says this, For this is how God loved the world. He gave His one and only Son, so that everyone who believes in Him will not perish, but have eternal life. 
We were hiding in our sin and God came to find us. He came to find you. He came to find me. He came to find the weird kid at school. He came to find everyone because that's how much he loves us. God is not a distant God. God is a God who is near us, who is for us. He sent his son Jesus so that we can have eternal life. It was because of Jesus' birth, his perfect life, his death and his resurrection that we can truly live in freedom. This is why we celebrate Christmas. I love you guys. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas! Here's one for you, oh. and here's one for you. Thank you. Oh, no. Yeah, Merry Christmas. <gasps> Oh, clam decay. What? Clam flavored candy cane. Why would you dig in? Oh, oh don't do that. No, oh. don't do that. Why would you, oh, why would you clam a cane? Oh, too late. It's not oh, worth it. Oh, oh. no. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, gross. Oh. All right, well, listen, between the presents, the meals, and the family, don't forget, you guys, God is near. Jesus was born so that you and I could have eternal life. And what a gift it is, right, guys? Yeah. yeah. So until next time, on the count of three, everyone, one, two, three, enjoy your life! That's so good.